Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make some gorgeous jewellery from air dry clay. You can make so many different things from air dry clay. Have a go and see how yours turned out. I think some of your friends won't ever believe you've made it yourself. Don't forget when you've taken a bit of the clay off, make sure you wrap your clay tightly back up in a sealed bag so that it doesn't start going dry. We really hardly need any clay at all for these projects, so it's really a budget friendly way to make jewellery. Because I get a block of each of the clay for about £4, maybe that's about 7 or $8. We really don't need very much at all, as long as you've got a rolling pin or a straight glass and some cookie cutters or a sharp knife, you can still create anything. So if you're a beginner, it's all about just using what you've got, you don't need any specialist equipment. I like to start off by a nice gentle even roll and then every time I give a gentle roll I like to pick mine up and turn it so it doesn't get stuck. I'm actually rolling onto an old tile here, just a flat old tile. If you've got a piece of glass or um, if you haven't got anything like that use a bit of baking parchment, a bit of um, kitchen baking paper, that works just fine. And then we just start cutting the shapes that we want to make the kind of jewellery that we want. So I'm going to make, be making some pendants here. So here's the first pendant. If you don't have a cookie cutter, find something round and then you use your knife to cut around it. The clay is very forgiving, so if we do make a mistake, you can always roll it back up and start again. Or if it's just a simple little mark, you can just rub the mark back out and roll it out with your finger. Please do subscribe because it really does help me out and click the bell button so you get notified of the next videos. Thank you! Maybe there's a style of jewellery that you'd like to create or you can just copy some of mine here. Just have a go and experiment at lots of different styles because it really takes hardly any clay so just try lots of things out. I've got a cocktail stick here and I'm going to create the holes for where we're going to put the necklace through and you just simply press all the way down to the surface below and gently circle round until you get the size hole that you're after. You can obviously use something thicker than a cocktail skewer if you want a bigger hole but in this case I want something quite small, not as thin as the cocktail stick but a little thicker. Just a nice delicate hole there. Another good thing to make a hole with is a straw. So cut off a small section, insert it all the way into the board there, give it a nice twist and pull up and there we go. You've got a lovely clean hole and then we can remove the excess there with a cocktail stick. There we go and ready to make the next hole. And just keep making the holes, work out first where you want them. You could do a little sketch first of the design that you want or you can just create a way and just come up with it as you go along or you can copy mine here if you like this one. So if you've caught the edge with your nail or something, you can just dab your finger into the water and smooth out any imperfections. Just like this. Don't get it soaked or anything, just the tiniest dot of water and you can feel it smooth out. Now I'm going to make the holes into more of a teardrop shape so again I'm going to use the cocktail stick to do this. Just be nice and delicate and enjoy the process. It's rather therapeutic I think 
and it's a really nice craft to do. So there we go, just going to add a little bit more detail in the middle. I think I'll take a hole out in the centre there and just add some dots. And I'm going to add some lines at the top and then we just leave it to set and dry. It's best if you leave it for at least 24 hours if you can. Um, just You'll know when it's dry, it starts to go white around the edge first and then eventually it will all go completely white. I've got another piece now that I'm getting ready for another pendant and so this one I'd like to roll out quite thin and thin on the edges because we're going to make this into a leaf type shape. So it's quite helpful here that I've got it on a piece of baking paper because it just allows you to get it a little bit thinner and move it about. Just keep cleaning up the, um, your workspace as well. I've got a packet of wipes here just to help clean everything up as we go. So making this into a nice leaf shape and then I'm going to curl it up. So I'm happy with how that looks and now I'm just going to roll it up for a different kind of look. I'm going to curl this over and this is where the pendant chain will go. When attaching two bits of clay together just make sure you score each side and then add a little bit of water and then they should attach together firmly. And now moving on to the third pendant. This is a really super simple one. We've got a little hook here that um, is part of a jewellery set. But if you haven't got one of these, you could use a little piece of wire curled over or you could use a paper clip. Anything that you can find like that really. Or if you don't have one, just make a hole. Just make a hole or two into the disc. So again, just cut a circle, remove the excess, make sure the outside is nice and circular and then we'll insert our piece of metal and then simply let it dry. I'm simply just smoothing it out a little with my finger with a little bit of water on just to make it a really nice smooth disc. And now on to the fourth one. Again, using the cookie cutters, do some rounds. If you don't fancy rounds, just use your knife and cut some geometric shapes. They work super well as well. Just you can tidy up the edges look by tapping all those loose little bits in there like that. We don't need to worry too much because once these are dry we can actually take a piece of sandpaper, nice fine sandpaper to them and give them a gentle sand. We obviously want to make them as neat as we can at this stage. And so for the other one I had a larger cookie cutter and now this is slightly smaller 
and I'm making a nice little moon type shape here. So for this one I'm going to be adding some beads and some wire. There we go. And this is actually quite a nice piece that we have here so we might use that for the next one. That could be good for the fifth one. I think so. Looks like a nice kind of leaf shape. We'll save that for later. So I'm going to add a hole each side again, like the first one, with a cocktail stick. There we go, set aside for a moment. And now we're going to make some little curls out of some wire. It's just a good way to add other bits of detail, something unique. You can do any pattern you like. I'm just going to do some little curls here. So if you've got some fine pliers, just do some nice curls and just snip it off. Here I've just got some scissors, the craft scissors. Snips would be better but I couldn't find mine just now. So we're just going to add these into the top of the clay along with some beads. Lightly press them in in any arrangement you like. And then I'm going to add some scoring details with a knife and then we finished. And then I'm just going to add a top coat on this with some Mod Podge, which is just a glue. Um, you can spray with a sealant or anything like that. And we can add some colour if we like with acrylic paints. Anything goes really, just enjoy and experiment. Lovely, and so set that one aside to dry. You want them to dry fully before we do anything else with them. And so this one that we cut out before, we're going to use it because it's a nice leaf shape. I'm going to add a long hole so we can add a bit of ribbon through this. And I think I'll turn it into a slight leaf design with some dots. Right, I've had these drying overnight and you can see they're starting to dry nicely. This thinner one is, they start to dry a little bit whiter, they go a bit white around the edges first and then they really start to dry out. 
so don't paint or varnish them until they are fully dry. Can you see here that one's still slightly damp? So first of all I'm going to take our round disc one, it's still slightly damp but we're going to be drawing on this one with a marker pen so we're okay to do that at this stage. So we can take a piece of sandpaper and rub out any imperfections, get it to be a nice flat disc on both sides and then we can start drawing, you can draw absolutely anything you like. Here we're going to do a super simple, what I call like a mushroom pattern. So I've got a permanent marker fine line pen here. Instead of drawing an absolutely perfect circle, I like to draw one that's slightly wobbly. It gives you a little bit more freedom for something to go wrong, but um, it's not going to go wrong. It's going to go perfect. And so just draw a slightly wobbly line as your circle and then we're going to draw some nice lines on the inside. I'm so pleased with that, it looks beautiful. And so now we just need to add a piece of cord so that we can pop it round our neck. And the next one we're going to do, we're going to do some painting on. And so I've got some blue acrylic paint. Obviously you use absolutely any colour you like. And once again, we can just give it a light sand and just take off any imperfections before we paint it. So if you do have some holes like this where you've got some imperfections still, if you take a little tiny piece of the sandpaper, roll it round the end of a paintbrush or something, something the same size as your hole, and then just spin it in there and take off the little bits of rough edges. So we did manage to there. It's just a little technique that we can use. And then just fold the sandpaper over and just get, it, get in any of the grooves there. And then we just brush away any of the bits of dust because we don't want that in our paint. And so then just paint. We're going to paint it with one first coat of acrylic paint and then we'll paint it with a second coat just to make sure we got, get that nice solid colour. So I've given it one coat of paint and we're going to let that dry and then we're going to dust over some of this white silver powder. If you don't have a silver powder like this, just use some gold or silver acrylic paint and use the dry brush effect over it. And so with our silver dust I'm going to add this to this piece. I'm going to gently brush it on. I've not actually used this like this before, so it'd be interesting to see how it'll work. And as I said before, with this one, just going to add a little bit of Mod Podge, add it on all over, and add a fair bit onto where the beads and the wire are, because that then um, holds those in place. You can go on with a few thin coats and build it up until you feel all of the beads and things are nicely in place. I've got a gold marker pen here, the kind that you have to shake and get going. Gosh, I've not used one of these for years, so it would be inter interesting to see how this is. Um, so all I'm going to do is get it going on a piece of paper. You have to really get it into the nib there when you have a brand new one. 
and then I'm just going to give a nice outline and paint the edge. Just paint the very edge there of this leaf and you can add on a little detail of a letter or a little picture or something or decorate it as you wish. So there we go, rather cute. Ready to add a little bit of ribbon and a chain. So now I'm going to add some of our silver powder to this one just to bring out the highlights. As I said, if you use a dry brush, you could add some acrylic silver or gold paint and just get the excess off on a piece of paper and then dry brush over the edges and it has the same effect. And then I'm going to spray these with a spray varnish. I spray them all in fact with just with a simple craft spray varnish. And there we go, I'm really quite pleased with these. I've just added a chain or some cord or some thread to each of them so they can go around your neck and look beautiful. And I'm sure you'll get admired by wearing these, for sure. You can give away as gifts, people will sure appreciate them. So enjoy!